Our next guest we have today is an upcoming DJ local in this local Springfield area named Nabil. I'd like to welcome him onto the show. Mm. What's up, Nabil? How you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Clap it up. Hey, I'm Nabil. <laughs> <laughs> it's my boy. What's, What's up, up, man? How you been up to? Living. How's your day been so far? Living. Uh, literally <laughs> just woke up not so long ago. Yeah? yeah. About to go to the mall now. Nah. Yeah, I, I did it last <laughs> night, so it's time to recuperate. Okay, how did how did that go? How did the? Yeah, it's a Tuesday night <laughs> in Springfield. Tearing so, up? No, not really. You, I was, I'm trying to get it, you know, to that point, but it's gonna be tough. Yeah. Just like it was tough for Thursday, so I'm mm -hmm. not really bothered. So, tell me how you got into that like lifestyle as a DJ. You know, when did you start um, DJing? I, it pretty much just started off like just liking music a lot. And the main reason why I really wanted to DJ is because, like, I have this new music that, like, I really want everyone to listen to. And I don't want to be that guy in the car. It's like, pass me the ox court. Mm. When we're literally just going, like, five minutes away. So, like, I figured, why not DJ? That way they really have to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why, that's why I started it. Okay, so what are, what, favorites, what are your types of music that you listen to? What are your favorites? I listen to everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like... I recently just started playing country, and people look at me like, whoa, what the <laughs> hey, I'm going to edit that out. Yeah, but, that, but yeah, <laughs> I just started playing country, and people are like, what the hell? Why, why would you do oh, that? Right, that yeah. That's like odd. <laughs> yeah, but I, I listen to everything. If I, I mean, if I find it, you know, like, interesting, no, I, why not give it a listen, you know? So what is, like, being a DJ, like, involved? What does that entail? What do you, you got to do? Um, staying current, you know, um, yeah, pretty much staying current and practicing a lot. Practicing what? Like your mixing skills. What is mixing? Like, tell me more about there's, that. A lot of people don't know what that is. People okay. just think you, as a DJ, you just come on, you play a song, and then you play the next song. Well, okay, mixing is like, you have people dancing, and then they don't realize that, they don't realize you've brought on the next song like you don't make it really obvious that the next song's on okay. you make it like a like a really smooth transition to the next song mm -hmm. i think that's what mixing is considered what are some of the challenges like you face as being a dj or like mixing or um overall it's it's always challenging being the opener dj so like if the club opens at 10 mm -hmm. and um close at three they usually have you have an opener that opens until probably like one o'clock until the main DJ starts from one to three. So the challenge for me usually op opening is like trying to get people away from the bar onto the dance floor. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy it. That's why I like, I like opening a lot. Oh, so you prefer that challenge? I actually prefer opening because it's, it's a lot challenging. You, you don't have people there already. You see the progression of like you playing the right music and then people gradually just coming onto the onto the dance floor. You're able to see like whether or not you're being successful as a DJ? I guess you could say that. Okay, that's cool. Um where do you where do you DJ at? Like where what places do you where? Um right now 
I DJ at Lucid downtown Springfield and um, uh, at Crow's Mill right down the street. When? The school. Uh, Crow's Mill is usually every Thursdays and uh, Lucid Thursdays right after Crow's and then either Friday or Saturday, depending on when I'm booked. Lucid, you're at yeah. Friday and Saturday too? Lucid, yeah. Okay. So uh, being a DJ yeah. gets you a lot of attention. The ladies too, is that true? No, that's that's, <laughs> that's not true. You don't think so? Well, I, I, I don't think I'm one of those like DJs that use that to my advantage. Like, advantage. Well, why did, what, what do you mean? Because I actually like I actually like DJing. Like yeah. I'm I'm in it for the music and not for like, yeah, I know. It's a perk though, right? Like, I mean, I guess you, I guess <laughs> you could say it's a perk, but I mean, I don't I don't really. That's not really what I I'm know. looking at when I'm DJing. I, if it happens, it happens, you know. Yeah. If it doesn't, then so be it. Like, okay. I'm not going to talk about any, like, personal experiences. I don't have any personal experiences. <laughs> you have to. What do you mean? No, I really don't. You don't I have just, any personal experiences? I'm, I'm not going to say we're going to get into it, but you, you definitely have personal experiences. I mean, I've, it's I've there. had people, like, come up to me and be like, hey, if you play this, like, we could talk later on or something <laughs> we like that. We could talk later but, but that's, I mean... <laughs> We can talk later on. Right? Yeah, I've also you can talk about people, how you like, played the song for me. <laughs> I have people come up there and like, like take my phone and like mm. act like they're about to put in the name of a song and yeah, yeah, it goes the number. And I'm like, oh, thank you very uh -huh. much. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So did you start? Where did you start? Like, do you think at like house parties or like did you meet like, um, go to the bars? Okay, funny story. I used to have a friend that went to UIS as well, Vernon Gear. Okay. He was my yeah, roommate. I think I didn't yeah, him. and um, he bought. The controller I use right now, he bought it for himself and like thought he was gonna use it like to, like I don't know DJ or something. But we would have it in the kitchen in our apartment and I, he would never use it. Yeah. So like I was like, why not give it a try? And I'll go in the kitchen and just mess around with it. And eventually Vernon was like, dude, you might as well just start DJing the house party. Mm -hmm. So then I started DJing like the White House. The White the, House. Um, <laughs> the Lincoln Land parties. Mm. Um, yeah, and then like school events. And I was like, one day I went downtown and I was like, hey, you mind if I play here? And they were like, sure. So you just asked them? Like, yeah. I mean, at Lucid, they have this thing called Open Deck. Okay. Which is Sunday nights. You go in there, you play. If they like you, they give you a date. And you come in and play. So I did that about two Sundays and never got a response. So I was like, oh, maybe I'm not that good then. So I went to a nearby bar that, get, that had less traffic. And I was like, hey, you mind if I play? And he was like, sure, you could come in and play. And the day I was scheduled to play there, Lucid calls me up and was like, hey, we want you to play here. And I, I wanted to play at Lucid personally. So I was like, oh, this is this is kind of messed up. <laughs> so I, I ended up like deciding to play at Lucid and I gave the other gig to a friend. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's how he started playing downtown as well. Is that Evan? Or uh, Jake. No. Or Jake? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. That's excellent, man. Mm-hmm. Well, Ball? I'm trying. That's awesome. Soon we're gonna collab, you know, you're making, you know, get on, uh, get on some beats, producing I just, beats. I, I just started like producing as you well, did? so. Good. Yeah. Uh, also, it's been brought to my attention that you have uh, SoundCloud. Yeah. So tell me how you use that. Um, I try to make uh, mixes every Monday. Well, every other Monday. I try to make a mix, like a 30 or 40 minute mix, and then throw it on there so people can listen to it. And also, I think it could help like getting gigs outside of Springfield. It's helped get a gig in Chicago, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So like someone like found it and just like booked you. Well, like usually when you talk to someone about like trying to play at their place, they like ask you like, uh, what, what do you what do you, you have a mix before? or something, yeah. and 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 you refer them to your SoundCloud. It's like a live portfolio. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty that's smart. Stuff like that. Yeah. All right, you said what? I said stuff like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then like when, whenever you produce new songs, you throw it on there and people yeah. listen to it. Yeah, so. Pretty good. I feel like a lot, not a lot of people know about how SoundCloud. raw SoundCloud is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think a lot of people know because they can't find like the the 
the mainstream songs they're looking mm -hmm. for. And they're so, tell me about what you want to do in the future with this. I have like a lot of family almost everywhere. Mm -hmm. So like, my plan is to like, go DJ in, in whatever country or town it is that. Okay. Yeah, so like I want to DJ all over the world if, if that's the answer you're looking for. But more specifically, I want to go like try to visit. Because my grandpa had like four wives. But you could imagine how extended the family is. So my plan is to actually go over to all these places and, mm. you know, just play and then visit all these people. So I bet it would be pretty tough then, like getting bookings like that. Then. Like, how, do you, how do you plan or how do you now like <clears throat> well, out there? Um, uh, recently, I just found out like pr production's pretty much the only way that's gonna like you have to have your own like music mm -hmm. and like people. That's how you get the recognition from booking agencies and all these people mm -hmm. that will like g guarantee you the gigs. So that's pretty much what I'm I'm like looking to do now. Just produce and like get better at it. Hopefully and. Hope everything takes out from there. Yeah, I, I believe it. I think you could do it. I've yeah. seen you work before. Thanks, man. Appreciate Get more exposure it. out there. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Appreciate your no time. No problem. Here. Anytime. Yes, you know, you got to, you know, turn to 21 in a couple of weeks. You know, so I'll be down there. Yep. <laughs> waiting uh, on that. <laughs> for a while. Yeah, man. exactly. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, well, I'd like to send you off. Thanks again. No problem. All right. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Yes. All Success. Right. <laughs> No bill. Dope boy next door. But those are all her shoes. Yeah, and those are my shoes. She has a lot more shoes. Those are also her shoes. Yeah, those are my shoes. <laughs> Alright. And then we have our hidden space of dirty laundry. But and you don't need to see that. You look at that. And then this is all alley. So I'll yeah. let her explain. Um, <laughs> this is just kind of where I keep my baby. And Courtney has these little pencils because she loves me. And yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff. Okay. Like, uh, here is my record cleaner that I'm producing, which is my gold bear. Um, all of my stuff. And I have my friend's artwork and stuff that's made for Courtney and stuff I made in high school. And there's my bae, Elvis, up there. <laughs> and this lovely piece of art was donated to me by Zach Perillo. So shout out. <laughs> <laughs> I also made this in high school. It's a cat, and I strategically placed them next to each other. Um, that's a Doctor Who painting because I'm a giant nerd. And there's my Beatles poster. And also the weird one with my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, so these are some of my books. Um, I've read about half of them, and I haven't really had time this semester because and such. But yeah, that's like my underwear and hats and more underwear. Yeah, this is our little like couch thing. Mini couch. Because we don't really use a desk because because we sit on the floor and do homework. Yeah. Because we're weird. So we constructed, well it was Allie's idea. <laughs> Not mine. It's just the two chairs that come with the room pushed together and then put a pad on it and then put a blanket on it and it's a couch. Great idea. Tell your friends. <laughs> so this is our couch. It's actually my ex roommate's couch, but it's great, and she let me onto it till the end of the semester. And it also has a pull-out bed, so I can actually sleep with more people in here. Uh, and then we have our calendar, and then I have another picture of Elvis because <laughs> there's also another picture of Elvis over there again. And then I have this lovely uh, road sign that was stolen for me by a friend. It's really great. It's all about favorite. Yes, yes. That's what we're about here. <laughs>
<laughs> These are the hats, and I love hats, so that's where I keep those. Um, this is my beautiful trash can that I painted little stars on, and I'm very proud of it. That is actually a hamper, but it's a table. Okay. Um, I this is where the magic happens. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we do. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we do our makeup and look at ourselves Ourself. in a mirror, which I guess some people do sometimes. And then um, we keep sometimes. all of our hair supplies in this little. Um, it actually was a shoe thing, but we thought it would make more sense to hold stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. In yeah, this one got there. coffee creamer, <laughs> um, a salt grinder, and some lime juice. We don't have any pepper though. We also don't have margarita mix. <laughs> and then we have this hair mask and some fabric and a bunch of crap. And then yeah, hair stuff and phone chargers and more hair stuff. And then. All of our hair utilities are hidden behind here. And all of the bandanas that we have, and it's pretty neat. Pretty cool, pretty neat. Um, this is our little pantry center. We have a little fruit bowl because we're, you know, we're healthy and stuff. And Ali's a vegetarian. <laughs> I am a vegetarian. Oh. And then, yeah, there's like another bucket full of like just spaghetti as a popcorn, yep. basically. Yep. Coffee that we can't drink. And cocoa root. Yep. And there's my sewing stuff too. So, yeah. And a gallon of water. Yeah. That's almost empty. Um, this is our little entertainment center. It's pretty cute. Um, we have our speakers too. And we have a DVD player, which is pretty sick. Um, so we watch movies sometimes. And sometimes we have movies. And it's a good one. Um, we have a PlayStation stuff yeah, too. Yeah, we have a PlayStation and a GameCube, yeah. but they're packed away because I haven't had time to do that either. So. <laughs> um, yeah, and there's some more stuff. Here's a picture of my parents. They're pretty cute. <laughs> I also have a drum. And this was a uh, mother uh, res life person's painting related to. Mia had this painting and I found it in the trash and I thought it was kind of good. So now it's in my room. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's all of my And that's my guitar. And that's one picture of my parents. Which, which are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty important for you to know. But my friend Rachel made this for me, and it's nice because you feel like how to stress out. And, and yeah, they're cool because if you like set them under a light for a while, they'll glow in the dark. Yeah. They're cool. It's kind of yeah. like a stress ball, but you don't squeeze it. You, you just shake it. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, we also have hula hoops. Oh, we have hula hoops. Just show the people what you got. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. That's it.